Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we'll see how to implement interstitial mobile ads display in your Android app. So let's begin. Uh, I'd like to take a note uh, that all the steps are given on the developers Google developer website. So we'll be following these steps. Steps are very simple, and we'll use the steps given over here. So let's begin. I'll create an empty project, and I'll name this as probably I'll interstitial ads app you can name it anything I'll change it to the latest version whatever is available in my click finish wait for the environment to load one thing to note about this particular ad is this should be given only on the logical break so uh, whenever there is a break or some kind of activity going on then only this ad should be used otherwise there are other ad types Probably I can quickly scan and show you the different ad types. Say for example, banner and other things can be used. So this ad is best used at natural pauses in the flow of an app's execution. So say for example, when there is a levels of games or something like that. So to demonstrate this, we'll probably put some buttons in our uh, uh, this demo app and see how it happens for the demo. So let's go back to the environment. It is still loading up. We have to wait. Perfect. My environment is loaded up, and I'll start the uh, uh, native app in the military in parallel. Uh, yeah. So before we start, let's go through the steps given over here in this particular page. So first and foremost, it says that we should need Google uh, Mobile SDK 19.7 or high. I think that's with us, and then it starts us to follow the uh, steps for uh, getting a started guide. So that is this page. So we'll follow few steps from here. So there are few prerequisites which I'm pretty sure we, it fulfills our need. Uh, our minimum SDK is 16 and compile SDK is 28 or higher. That's, that's true because we are using I think 31 version or 32 whatever. Anyway, uh, this account setup I have already done it uh, for AdMob and I have got my uh, app ID and uh, add a unit ID. Uh, the steps for that is given uh, in my separate page. The link for which is posted in the description folder below. Please refer to it. So we'll follow the steps from here, configure our app. So first and foremost is asking us to configure the uh, build.gradle file in the uh, project level. So we'll go to our environment and this is a project level, the first build.gradle and over here is asking me to implement these two parts. So I'll just implement the first part. Control C, Control V, perfect. And so build a script has to come on top. You can click sync now. The second part oh, for all projects I'm not implementing because that part is already implemented in my settings.gradle file. If I open this and if you see it's already implemented over here. If for you, if it's not implemented, either implement in the settings gradle file or you implement here after plugins, you can implement uh, this all projects. But for me, it's not required. Moving further, it's Ask me to implement this dependency which will be in the other build or gradle file which is at the app level application level so over here if i go scroll down and over here i can just paste the lines which i copied from there so i think yeah and i may have to click sync now again so once we have done it and syncing is done then we can move to the next step and as a next step it says us to modify the manifest file with this particular metadata and here we may have to replace the value with our own uh, this app id which we will uh, get from this particular uh, uh, ad mobile account so for that please refer to my page uh, given in the description folder but over here i use this sample id provided by over here at the space so if i go back to my environment and I'll go to the manifest file and I have to add this metadata just before the application tag uh, tag so I'll just add it over here and in the place of this xx and yy I'll use this control c control v and the other one is control c so this is my application id okay uh, this is my application id and yeah, so you'll get two things from me in this uh, from this uh, particular uh, 
add mobile account add mob account one is the application id which is unique for each application and then the application uh, advertisement unique unit id which will be specific to the advertisement unit you create for that particular app application okay so once we have done this then we can move further down and it asks it's giving some example to create this particular initialization and all i think we can uh, skip that and we can move to this in this particular uh, part where it says how to implement this interstitial uh, ad so that page i have already opened here and that's that's the page uh, over here so we have completed this a uh, started guide and now we can move further so it says always test uh, with test ads and i think uh, the easiest way to test ads is your dedicated test add unit id so this is the other id test add unit id so we'll be using this one to test our advertisement so, but anyway we'll first scroll down so steps are very simple as i told so this is a steps to initialize or you can just copy paste this whole code or you can write it also so you have to just create a, a variable called interstitial ad in your uh, as a class variable and then initialize uh, the mobile ads and then uh, create that or load that ad in your environment so we'll just copy with paste this part of the code control c in our java code and over here i'll just paste it in this you, yeah i was expecting lots of errors because lots of classes uh, needs to be imported so i'm just importing one by one everything so just hover over each and every api and it will prompt to press alt enter keep pressing alt enter and that should take care of most of the import the required import whatever is required over here perfect so no i think one is left over here yeah perfect then so we the only error is that you know this particular variable that's not being uh, identified so that's because we have not yet uh, created this class variable this is missing so i'll just control c and i'll paste it over here you can paste the complete code either from that uh, this particular portal or i'll also give my code in the in, on my portal so you can copy paste but anyway it's same and over here it has automatically i think taken the sample of the test add unit id but over here the request or suggestion is of course you should use your own add unit id and not this add test one so let me check whether this is the one the same which is given here yeah perfect that's the same one nevertheless let's move on and let's see what's next steps here so next step it says set the full screen content callback and all so this is like uh, if you want to do certain operations whenever the ad is this way or fail or something which i don't think i need i want to do anything i just want to show the ad so this is the steps which i need so this is what uh, i would like to do uh, i would like to put it somewhere but definitely not on this on create method because this is one method which will get called each time the app is loaded so what i will try to do is i will start another method probably public uh white button show no inter tcl add show yeah yeah and i think probably i'll include it into yeah view so that i can trigger this method from my view or from my layout and i'll copy paste this part into this control yeah control v perfect i think uh, i can remove this not required yeah and now i'll go to my layout and quickly create a button here which will trigger this ad so uh, i will name this button as probably interstitial ad so i'll name this change the name of this button as interstitial ad perfect and then i'll give some constraints i'm not spending much time on the layout part probably i'll also use this uh, text view to display something so i'll first give it some id over here and i'll go back to my java code and over here this is just for the uh, yeah this is not required but just for showing or controlling or kind of debugging uh, i'm trying to create here this variable so that i can show a few things on this one so i'll just create a uh, this text view find view by id r dot id dot text view yeah so once we have it and say for example this is shown then we can print something on the text view 
text view add no 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 set text and then in this add is for interstitial add is display yeah you can uh, paste it it's just for reference or nothing else that's all is what i guess i'll just run this code and see how it comes up in the app in the emulator So yeah, I have not touched anything as loaded or uh, on as loaded or failed because if this part is successful, then automatically this particular variable will get the add loaded in his part. And whenever we click here, show it will show it. So let's click this button and see if it works. So no, nothing is happening. It seems like I'm not sure what is wrong here. So even it's not displaying any. So what we can do is we can also put some kind of display in the else part and industrial add is null probably something like that so that we can understand and okay so also i think we have not still given the on click attribute of this particular uh, button so if we go back here we should have set this particular on click attribute so that whenever this button is clicked or placed this particular method is called because this was grayed out if you have noticed and it just not turned the color to blueish so that means this method was not even being called. So I'm rerunning the code and see how it works. Uh, the code is coming up or the app is coming up. So if I press, oh, perfect. So see, if you notice it's working now, it's a test ad of course. And the message has changed that in interstitial ad is displayed here. Perfect, so that's all I wanted to show you. It's very simple. You have to just load the, your interstitial ad with this particular uh, part you can remove the logs and all those things if you don't need not if it's not required and in the own loaded method it automatically will assign the add whatever is written uh, return from the method to this particular uh, local variable and then you can use the local vari variable to show at your natural powers don't don't show it in a very frequently very continuously but show it on your natural powers as required as missing the uh google uh, developer website as well so yeah so that's all i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put in the comment section and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day bye